This is Brian at Atlanta Hot Tub Center. And guys, today on Tub Talk 101, I want to talk about swim spas, just basically in general. So I'm going to call this swim spa review because I'm getting a ton of questions about swim spas. And I want to talk about it. It's very similar to the hot tub industry when we talk about non-self-supporting and self-supporting shell. Remember, quick over overview, right? A uh, non-self-supporting shelled swim spa, right, is basically they take a giant sheet of acrylic, they vacuum form it, they put the resin on to keep water and vapor from getting in between the acrylic and the fiberglass, they spray on some fiberglass, they flip it over onto a grid system that has these giant chunks of insulation all over the grid system, right? And those giant chunks of insulation, what they're doing is they're supporting the hot tub with water in it because something has to support all that weight. Again, the problem with this is, is after a four, five, six year period of time, right, that the, the chunks of insulation um, are no longer supporting the shell very well. Again, they're chunks of insulation, so that support is only going to last so long. And then, you know, you start to see kind of a wave in the shell. The shell starts to warp a little bit. You start putting pressure on plumbing and stuff. You start having issues and problems. And the idea here is, guys, is... You know, you just grab it, you throw it away, and you replace it. Because this is most of your internet stuff. You know, your Costco, your Sam's Club, your Home Depot, your Lowe's, a lot of your internet suppliers. Um, you know, your carnival guys that come into town to sell you a swim spa. That's all non-self-supporting shell stuff. And at the end of the day, it's not a bad tub, right? But it's important to understand what it is that you're getting. So that way, your expectations are met. Okay, then you have hand roll fiberglass self-supporting shell when you talk about Endless or uh, Hydropool. We're a Hydropool dealer or uh, the Michael Phelps, right? Uh, Master Spas, right? Their, their swim spa collection, right? That's all hand roll fiberglass. And what that means is we vacuum form, uh, we put the resin on to keep the water and vapor out, but then we actually hand roll on the fiberglass. And guys, when you hand roll on fiberglass, it's... 10 times thicker, you know, it takes 10 times longer, 10 times more labor. But now you have a shell that, su that supports its own weight with water in it, right? And that's what we would really consider to be a pool in our industry, right? Because what is a swim spa, guys? It's not a hot tub, it's a pool, right? It's got a cool current that you can kind of go around the hot tub in, all that good stuff. But when you start getting up there in some of the better swim spas in the marketplace, let's not say uh, better per se, let's just say that built differently when you get to that level you start getting you know wider swim currents uh, you know you, you start getting better levitation jets right and it just goes to that overall experience that you're going to enjoy whether you're swimming whether you're biking whether you're walking whether you're running row bands row bars all that good stuff right as you go up that experience is only going to get better but again guys it's designed to be a Cool. So in the swim spot industry, I struggle a little bit with the non-self-supporting shell stuff because it kind of goes away from having a pool, right? Because when you have a pool, it normally lasts, right? You're going to get, you know, 20, 25, 30 years out of a pool, you know, if you really take care of it, you know, possibly get even longer than that, right? So to get a pool that's only going to last six or seven years, I guess I would compare a non-self-supporting shell swim spot to an above ground pool. And I would compare a self-supporting swim spa to an in-ground pool. If that guy, if, if that kind of helps you guys as you're determining what's best for you and your uh, family, right? So remember, the swim spa, yes, they have some similarities with hot tubs and a lot of what we talk about, right? Because all that stuff is still the same, guys. Make sure you like the dealer that you're doing business with. That's important because they're the ones that are going to take care of you. Um, as the years go on, as you, as, as you own the swim spa, make sure you do your research. Don't believe everything you see on a forum. Most of these Facebook channels and, and forums and all this stuff you see on Google, I mean, a lot of times that's just a keyboard warrior from whatever factory, you know. You know, you're talking, oh, I want to buy a swim spa. And they're like, oh, go buy an A and B swim spa. And meanwhile, that guy's sitting at A and B swim spa. I was like literally like, you know, texting you, telling you to go buy one. So you really want to be careful. It's important to go out. Look at your dealer, meet your dealer, get a feel for it, and wet test. Guys, I love the word wet test. I don't care if you're buying a hot tub or a swim spa for that matter. You should always wet test. Get a good feel for it. We're always pushing people to come in and wet test our Hydropool swim spa. Let us heat it up for you, right? That way you can get in there and you could really see with, 
what that what what the exercise is going to be like right you can really feel what that swim experience is going to be right and again as you get up in swim spots just like anything else better electronics better insulation you know steel framing you know better jetting just all that stuff it's all the same guys a swim spot just isn't a swim spot just like a hot tub isn't a, isn't a hot tub so again uh, guys you really really want to do your research it's really really important when you buy a swim spa you know these are quite a bit more expensive than a hot tub for the most part so you don't want to put this guy in your backyard start having leaks and problems different things like that and nobody to service it right that'd be a nightmare so, I mean, that's literally like taking an, an in-ground pool, right? Right. Again, we're comparing it. Obviously, an in-ground pool is five times more expensive, right? And it is built a little bit more commercial. But, you know, again, you don't want to put this thing in your yard and then just continue to have problems and issues with it, right? You want it to help have self-cleaning systems. You want, it, you want it to have a way to, 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 to clean up. You know, all the debris, you don't want to be out there all the time with the net, right? And you'll see as you start going up in swim spas, you know, we'll start talking about automatic systems, automatic uh, chlorinators, um, you know, uh, also all sorts of different things to, to, to make it easier. Whether you talk about apps, uh, you know, heads up display and goggles that track calories, you uh, It'll track uh, how fast you're going, how many laps, you know, all that stuff. So again, the main focus of this video, guys, is when you're going out to look for a swim spa, right? And you're going to land on this video when you type in swim spa review. But I just want you to focus on really doing your research, especially when it gets to a swim spa, guys. It's important that you know exactly what it is that you're going to get. This is Brian at Atlanta Hot Tub Center and, and a review on swim spas. Thank you.